Is that a hula hoop? Posted to TikTok by Camilo Rodriguez, a dark ring looks like it's burnt into the sky above. The mysterious video was captured in Colombia on March 6, 2022. After searching for some explanation, I couldn't find any for this specific ring, but I have found that it's not unique. One appeared over Pakistan in 2020 and is thought to have been caused by a small combustion blast through a circular structure. Again, one in Britain in 2014. This was traced back to a fireworks test. And finally, over Chicago in 2012, this one traced to the rupture of an electrical transformer. So while this may look like an ominous vortex to misery, I guess it's actually an ominous vortex of mystery. There's more to this selfie than what meets the eye. Posted to TikTok, Dita and her friends pose for pictures, but someone else sneaks into the last shot. In the background, a girl is seen peering through a crack in the door. In other frames, she is not there, but then again she appears peeking around the corner. Is this just someone who wants to be included? Or is this a ghost phantom photobombing? YouTuber Anonymous Web brings us this scary video in what appears to be an abandoned home. A hooded djinn creeps past in the hallway, and he's about to light it up. Did this djinn create the fire, or was he created by it? I think we just witnessed the birth of a djinn. Of all the creepy things to find in the woods, a body would be pretty high up on the list. That's what Capper of Capper Outdoors fears as he follows the footprints that a trespasser has left behind. Earlier that day, Capper received a call from his scared wife saying that she had just driven past somebody on their property. Now he's coming up on them, a person under a tree who is not moving. It was freezing the night before. He calls out to see if the stranger is still breathing. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I just want to get away from my wife for a while. How come you're covering your face? Oh, I'm just trying to stay warm, sir. The man is beyond suspicious. Aside from being alone in the woods, no jacket, head covered. He also apparently was just looking at this random woman in a magazine before being found. Capper goes to his car and calls the police, which seems like the right call considering the situation. There's no telling what this person was going to do next. When Capper examines the footprints, he makes a super creepy observation. Looks like they were dragging something. Here's the pond. Yeah, I just wanted to get away from my wife. Look at the tracks. Was this man who is trespassing on this property dragging someone with him? Dennis of Dark Life is about to encounter an aggressive poltergeist in the house of the witch. His cameras capture everything too. First, something starts messing with the cupboard. The demon then grows a bit more aggressive. He seems to be toying with Dennis. Dennis asks many questions of the spirit, and the spirit responds. Was она убила? Она сейчас здесь? When he asks if the spirit needs help, it answers, It seems to be following him. Вы? Вы 
And the knocking gets louder. Again, the spirit reiterates that no one can help him. And finally, Dennis decides that he's in danger and should leave. It's clear that this malevolent spirit is taking no prisoners. If I were Dennis, I'd get out of there too. Want to see a magic trick right before your very own eyes? TikToker Vincent L.A. Jorde has one for you. Watch for the guy in the red shirt. Everyone's wondering where he came from. He seems to materialize out of thin air as the ladies walk forward. Watch again closely. My theory is that he's Doctor Strange, or he teleported there. Is there any more logical explanation? Zero One Supernatural Studio takes a tour of this most haunted hospital in Asia. Actually, 日军开始节节败退的时候, As this team explores the place, they are sensing energies at each turn. 然后随着脚步声前往的时候, 那一个警卫看见了一位高大的男性, Did you see something in the darkness? In the next room again, they feel jumpy. I'm not sure if that was a ghost or just a trick of the light, but this next one is hard to deny. Watch the doorway as this man reaches the bottom of the stairs. It looks like a figure passes at the end of the hall. Next, a strange shadow falls over this creepy hallway. They continue the tour and it just gets spookier from there. 接下来这个故事呢,其实是一位住在当地的美国人所告知的. The pit looks like it drops all the way to the fiery depths below. They explore further and find this creepy underground bunker. 我朋友,他的朋友,告诉我的, 当地曾经有一群年轻人跑进去这个废弃医院内探险。while we didn't see or hear any blatant ghosts on this tour, there's no denying this place is beyond creepy. I know I wouldn't want to wander those halls. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. 
Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses to come out. Her friend almost has it by the tail, but then at the last second it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly puts it back in its container. The rat looks used to being handled, and this is probably the only thing that kept it from trying to bite and scratch its way out. A Facebook user in Tolompantla, Mexico is walking down the street when he discovers a missing section of a wall and takes a look inside. The hollow dungeon-like area is filled with what appears to be stacks of caskets. Whether the caskets were filled or not is anyone's guess, but the point is why would this area be sealed away underneath a highway overpass? Also why was this section of wall broken? Maybe it broke from the inside by someone trying to free themselves. Who knows what other secrets could be hidden under there. Two friends are fishing when they hear somebody else firing for hunt not too far away. The two don't think much of it and let the man continue his hobby while they continue theirs. They keep casting into the water and everything is going fine for about a minute. And then the two sports collide. Holy! Stop! Hey! Hey! It hit my boat! Look again and you can tell that he doesn't pick his foot up for dramatic effect. It was really that close. When you slow down the video to frame by frame, you can briefly see the round as it bounces off the deck right by his foot. If they had been drifting downriver, even just a little faster, it would have been a direct hit and a trip to the hospital for certain. A YouTuber in Thailand named Hassan Natapong is exploring a ghost town full of abandoned buildings to investigate. There are far too many abandoned places to go exploring on foot. So after a while, he uses a drone with a high resolution camera to take a closer look and see what mysterious sights he can capture on video. Hassan is just a normal YouTuber and not a ghost hunter by any means, so you can imagine his surprise when he finds a mysterious figure in all white wandering down the road like a zombie or something. <laughs> He tracks the strange figure with his drone and watches as it does a bizarre walk, arms outstretched, up an unkept yard and into an abandoned house, seemingly at random. The way the figure shambles from left to right does not look like a ghost sighting, but it could be someone who is about to drop from exhaustion and needs help. So Hassan knows he needs to find this person fast before it's too late. He can see his drone flying overhead and so he follows it to the abandoned house where he saw the mysterious figure go into. The inside is trashed and large sections of wall are completely gone. It doesn't look safe for anyone to live in here, and I wonder if this is where someone would crawl to live out their last moments in relative peace. He looks everywhere, even on the second floor, and finds no evidence that anyone is here. As he goes back down the missing staircase, you can see nobody is there. But when he gets to the bottom of the steps, he sees a little ghost girl kneeling under the stairs with long black hair over her eyes. I say this could be a ghost sighting because there's no way to have missed her going up these steps. I'm guessing that he must have not noticed her presence until he was editing the video much later. Then again, considering this looks like a very generic representation of a ghost, kind of like the movie The Ring. It's also a pretty big coincidence that he just so happens to be filming over his shoulder when she appears, so I think it could be fake after all. D-Master Flex is camping overnight in a haunted cemetery. They get bored and let their guard down long enough to play a game. What the? What the? 
Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. The Tower of Jenga blocks collapses seemingly all by itself. The tower was clearly built on a level surface, and there appears to be no strong winds to blow it over. I guess it could have just been a string, but if not, then this incident is almost certainly paranormal. Chris Condon and his friends go to an old mental hospital to spend the night on a dare. This location is a little different than the others on this list because it's rather well known and has become somewhat of a party area for high schoolers to hang out in. With this in mind, it's no surprise when Chris's group comes across some other random people who want to join. By midnight, the group is pretty large and everyone seems to be getting along well. They set up a tent and prepare to spend the night making new friends. A few hours later, they wake up to a huge blaze instead. Hey, the fire department's oh on its way. Okay. No. Be quiet, guys. You can hear them. It's full, buddy. Full. Police are outside arresting everyone who leaves the building. So Chris and his friends stay put for a while and then barely manage to sneak away. At times they are surrounded by pitch black and are too afraid to use their lights. They're almost caught multiple times and ultimately never return to the location again. My biggest question now is what actually caused the fire? A tropical storm has passed through here, and aside from causing a messy yard, this family seems to have been largely spared from the bad weather, or so they think. <laughs> Luckily, everyone is alright and fortunately the tree didn't go through their house. So if you live near the woods and have a serious storm pass through, remember, this scary CCTV video is exactly why you wait until it's dry before going outside. Baird Strudwick and his friends are just goofing around at a local trampoline park when they decide it would be funny to cover him in bubble wrap and do some stunts. None of them. Not even Baird expected this gag would almost cost him his life. The green bubble wrap suit definitely looks amusing, but after a while, Baird gets overheated and goes down. They quickly rip the suit off, and Baird says he's feeling okay at first. A little bit later, it becomes obvious that what he's actually feeling is the early onset of heat stroke. Now all of his friends gather around him and try to think of a reasonable plan as Baird sits on a chair with his head hanging low. No, it didn't feel. I was gonna say you could get like a wet towel. Like, That's so what you yeah, say. Towel, 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 about 40 tense minutes pass before Baird finally recovers enough to film an outro for the video. He is still drenched in sweat and looks woozy, but I'm really glad nothing permanent happened. I will admit that I didn't think anything serious would come from this idea, and this sudden turn of events took me by surprise. Hopefully this video will help us all think twice before attempting anything similar. There's not a lot of information available about this video, besides that it was broadcast live somewhere in Albania. Two radio personalities are having a spirited discussion when suddenly they are interrupted by something that neither of them can explain. <laughs> A newspaper flies up on its own in the middle of their conversation, and you don't have to speak the language to see the genuine surprise written all over the man's face as it happens. Still, I would really appreciate it if anyone who speaks Albanian could tell me what was being said, or tell me more about their show if you recognize them. I've watched this video many times and I see no strings attached to the newspaper or anything like that. Obviously, it can't be magnets either. So if it's not magnets or string, then what could it possibly be besides a haunting? A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend, telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan, 
so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all. Then the entire sky changes color. What is that? If fireworks is truly not the answer, then the only other explanation I have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon. Let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here, because I'm really not sure and neither is anyone in the comments section of this video. This dashcam video originates from somewhere in Russia. A large truck swerves out of the way of something invisible, narrowly missing oncoming traffic in the process. Then a pedestrian suddenly appears from behind the truck and calmly walks away like nothing happened. The uploader of this video is sure that this is a ghost, and assuming this video is not CGI, I would have to agree. Slow the video down and you can clearly see how nothing is in the truck's path at first. And then the person instantly appears only after the truck has passed. It's almost as if the truck has passed straight through them. This YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in, and at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? This mysterious video was taken during a tour of the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. The tour guide is talking about ghostly visitors from other time periods when something darts by low to the ground. The, the frilly dresses, the little breeches shorts, the nice little blouses. Many people agree that this looks like it could be one of the many variations of toy rabbits that were popular during the 18 and 1900s. I suppose it could just be a speck of dust or even computer generated effects. No one says anything out loud which is suspicious, but I did notice one of the girls looks down where the object was last moving and tracks it perfectly with her head. Maybe everyone there just thought they saw something out of the corner of their eye and weren't sure until they watched the video later. This video could very well be proof that the humanoid kingdom extends into the insect world. At first glance, this video appears to be a firefly or some similar sort of bug, but when slowed down frame by frame, you can clearly see that this is not a bug at all, but rather appears to be a tiny winged humanoid. The video shows an insect-like humanoid with clearly discernible arms and legs. Unlike most bugs, this humanoid only has four limbs, and the arms appear to be twice as short as the legs, much like a person. There's simply no insect on Earth like it. It's just too bad the lighting conditions don't provide more detail, because it would have been interesting to see more of its face and overall color patterns. Exactly where this video was shot is not known. AJ and her friend are hiking the Glacier National Park in Montana when they see a bear charging towards them. The bear sighting becomes even more terrifying when they lose track of it somewhere below. It could come up the small embankment to charge at them, but instead it changes courses and runs towards a second tour group. They frantically scream to try and keep the bear away, but it's of no use. The animal is far from scared as it runs straight into them. Or should I say, straight through them. As it turns out, the bear is more interested in getting a wild goat that just so happens to be on the other side. But if any of them had tried to run away, which is a natural instinct when a bear is barreling down on you, then this scary situation would have gone from a bear sighting caught on video to something much worse. This YouTuber thinks his room is completely haunted. This is what was caught on video when the camera was left running for only a few minutes. Okay, not exactly five minutes, but I swear to God I heard something, so I'm gonna watch back the footage. He comes back into the room thinking he heard a noise, but nothing is there. At least nothing that he could see. 
At 2 minutes and 41 seconds, a fast-moving shadow figure is caught on camera. A mysterious outline of a person. I don't think the reflection is his because it moves too quickly. This creepy video is either paranormal or edited, but which? Something about it says real ghost sighting to me. For the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Hosted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving to the right, a figure is seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left, and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach, even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. Nicholas White is in an elevator on his work break when it suddenly stops after the power goes out for a split second and comes back on. It's an unremarkable beginning to a long survival situation that stretches on for almost two days with everything caught on camera. He does what anyone would do and repeatedly tries all of the buttons, including the alarm, and then he tries to open the door a couple times, all to no avail. No one in the security room is listening. After an hour, he stands on the rails and looks for a ceiling hatch, but the exit is locked. After more than 10 hours, you can see a worker perform some kind of maintenance on all of the other elevators, apparently skipping right past Nicholas without noticing he's even there. By 19 hours, Nicholas seems to have resigned to his fate. He tries to keep from going crazy by reading the fine print to what he says later on was a sports game ticket. After 40 hours, he has degraded into a vegetative state and mostly lies on the floor or leans against the wall. One hour after that, he is finally able to talk to somebody over the intercom and they give him a special code to press that gets the elevator working again. His friends and a security guard are waiting for him on the other side. Understandably, after spending almost the full weekend in this cube. All he wanted was a cold drink and probably a new job in a different building. This unlucky fellow must have the strictest parents ever because he's mowing his lawn in some pretty severe weather. A storm is rolling into St. Louis, Missouri and things are about to get bad for him quickly. Early, stay back. Man! His neighbor tells him to get inside, but he refuses. Apparently, he either doesn't know or doesn't care that pushing a big piece of metal under a bunch of trees is a recipe to attract lightning. Even after almost getting stuck, the defiant neighbor continues to mow his yard as the weather gets worse. That's when the person recording decides they are standing outside too and takes their own advice. This neighbor may have beaten out the elements this time, but I don't know how many storms they can weather before they learn their lesson the hard way. Definitely don't do what they do unless you want to wind up struck by lightning. The Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee is one of the most haunted hospitals on earth. So much so that it's been officially designated as a paranormal research center on Google. Almost everyone that goes there has a paranormal experience. Take a YouTube channel called Lost Souls Paranormal for example. One of the few research teams brave enough to go exploring the haunted hospital's basement. An investigator named Bailey splits from the group and this is what he records underground. Running footsteps are coming from all directions and are possibly even in the same room that he is. 
Suddenly, the idea of ghost hunting isn't as fun as it was five minutes ago, and so he doesn't go any further. This is enough paranormal evidence to convince me, but let me know if you think it was his friends making the noise. Years prior, another paranormal investigator named L.W. Drums was close to the same spot of the hospital and experienced strange ghost activity as well. Come on now, you're being really boring with us. The voice of somebody who isn't there mocks the investigator with an exaggerated sigh, and a shadow appears at around this time too. Come on now, you're being really boring with us. <gasps> Something just touched my head. Ooh. <laughs> Something jabs him from behind. When he turns around, the mysterious camera goes out of focus like something is right up on the lens, and I don't know if this is a third member of the team, but at 29 seconds, a mysterious figure is definitely just sitting on the other side of the room staring at them. In March of 2019, the sky opened up over the city of Al An in the UAE, scaring everyone within a 10 mile radius. Posted by Mr. Potak in November of 2019, this footage was originally posted to Twitter by Ibrahim Al Jarwan, reported to be an astronomer and meteorologist by the Daily Mail. The footage of the strange whirlpool in the sky was captured while driving. The video went viral, as many were left mystified about what it could be. Are we really looking at a portal to another world? If so, what world are we entering? I just wish we had more footage of this event. It would help us solve this mystery once and for all. A YouTuber named Sydney Ghost Hunter records this strange noise at 3 a.m. It's definitely not his cat. Now, here's the weird part. You'd think this was the noise of a wild animal, but Sydney Ghost Hunter says he did not hear anything in real life, and I believe him because his cat never so much as looks up. A YouTube channel called The Proper People Vlogs is documenting their urban exploration trip to check out an abandoned power plant. This is the exact moment they knew they were in trouble. Tell me what you would have done in this situation. Run or stay. There's a person. There's a person. There's a person. Should we talk to them? Person. Should we talk? I probably would stay because running would only get you in more trouble. Anyway, at first it looks like they are trying to walk away, so I guess they were kind of panicking. But then they turn back around to have their translator talk it out rather than escape. As it turns out, this is security and they are not happy at all. Try and translate if you can, because they are about to get in so much trouble that their translator just says they should leave. This does not seem good. Based on what I've seen, it's a good thing that they get out of here fast, because I doubt the authorities in this country would have taken kindly to tourist trespassers. Nevertheless, I'm glad they got out of their safe. This video begins with a YouTuber named Hallie trembling in the corner while recording a toy car on the opposite end of the room. It's possessed, she declares in a timid voice. Eventually, she gets the courage to move across the room to record it up close. The car's lights are blinking rapidly and it's making a weird humming noise. Suddenly, it springs to life. What did you shut it off? I'm not sure if this is a remote controlled car or not, but I don't think so because I don't see an antenna. Also, I think I see red buttons on the back for making sound effects, and Hallie wasn't touching any of those buttons. In fact, she was all the way across the room when it turned on by itself, so I really don't know how this could have happened. According to her, everyone else in the house was asleep. Definitely be sure to let me know what you think is happening in this video. Claims of the Chinese Guanyin statue blinking inside of the Lin Kuen Temple are apparently real if you believe this video. 
Sometimes this blinking effect happens from shaking the camera, but at 42 seconds the phone is still and the statue still does it. <laughs> I also hear temple bells, so this could have taken place during a ceremony. However, I'm pretty sure that this blinking is from a grainy video. The background looks to be moving in a similar way to... This YouTuber is fairly sure that he's captured a ghost on his dash cam when he's traveling down a suburban road and sees reflective lights on the right. Watch the parked car on the right to see what I mean. I personally think it looks like someone could be stepping into his line of movement here. It happens quickly, so I'll play it again in slow motion. Let me know if you see it. But when he pulls up to where the lights were, he and his friends are surprised to find nothing's there. Where did it go? They walked in front of the car, right? Yeah, it was like a wheelchair or something. Both of them swear they saw the lights and thought someone was crossing the street. I guess his headlights could have been reflecting off of the parked car, but then again, the angle doesn't exactly seem to match up. Let me know if you see it and what you think it could have been. A YouTube channel called Some Ordinary Gamers has well over 100 videos exploring the vast reaches of the deep web. He's casually hopping from site to site when suddenly this twisted image fills his screen. So here we've got what appears to be a woman with her eyes sort of completely blacked out. Some ordinary gamers is hesitant about watching this video by himself late at night. With that said, he knows he needs to give the fans what they want and reluctantly presses play. So it seems like we've got music in reverse being played right now for the cameras, so beautiful stuff indeed. My... Wait, wait, hold on. She's saying numbers, it's a numbers station, what the... The girl with blacked out eyes keeps repeating a series of coded sequences over and over again. The video makes no sense and is well over five minutes long. Some ordinary gamers doesn't try to crack the code, but he does have another idea that's just as good. He runs the audio through a program and plays it in reverse. This weird melody is what he finds. It could be hackers, the government, or even just a prank to waste people's time. Exactly what it means is anyone's guess, but mysteries like this is what makes the deep web so special, creepy, and weird. A video of a human torso walking upright is probably one of the scariest home CCTV moments I've ever seen caught on tape. The main reason it looks so terrifying is because this is mostly a marionette puppet instead of CGI, which requires more work but looks more realistic. Somebody is most likely pulling its strings from above to make it walk, or at least I hope so. A sports bike enthusiast named 6'4 Honda has a YouTube channel full of adventures taken on the open road. Today he is riding down the shoulder lane through heavy traffic which puts 6'4 Honda on edge, and for good reason, as you'll see. Be careful on this one. Watch out for your mirrors. Literally two seconds after warning to be careful, a black pickup truck decides to make a U-turn to get out of the traffic. What the f*** is backing up? I shouldn't be doing this. Six foot four Honda quickly accelerates and barely manages to get out of the way in time. He doesn't even waste his energy confronting the driver and simply continues going down the road, glad to still be in one piece. Based on his reaction, I would say this is not the first time something like this has happened to him, and sadly it probably won't be the last. These Russian nightclub partiers look normal enough, but check out what happens to some of their eyes during a power outage. Guys, check it out. Look at that. Almost everyone else's eyes are not visible except for a select few. Even if these were contact lenses or something like that, there's absolutely no light to reflect. 
until you can give me a scientific explanation as to why someone's eyes would glow in the dark with the lights out. I would have to say this video is definitely not normal to say the least. The humunculus is rumored to be an artificial type of creature that was first discovered sometime during the medieval ages by the way of alchemy. The recipe for this legend has since been lost, but some YouTubers have claimed to have rediscovered a way after doing some tinkering in their kitchen. The process used to create a humunculus is kind of gross. You can look it up if you want, but all I will say is that it involves fertilizing a chicken egg using a syringe. Next, you seal the egg off in a plastic container and keep it warm by wrapping it up in a cloth. For some reason, you also have to keep the area very dark. Perhaps this has something to do with witchcraft. No one can touch or disturb the egg in the slightest. You can't even look at it. If you do, you will kill the humunculus before it can hatch. After enough time has passed, about 10 days or so, you remove the egg from its container. The egg appears to have developed some sort of infection, but this could also be some normal part of the process. The YouTuber cracks open the disgusting egg, and this is what he finds laying inside. <laughs> Но это существо, конечно же, не может обладать какой-то высокоразвитой формой интеллекта. В лучшем случае это что-то на уровне амебы. This tiny creature has no discernible features except for some long tendrils attached to a shriveled up central body. It looks like a chewed up white piece of gum, except it moves. Apparently, they are no smarter than a jellyfish. Maybe the ones from medieval times were more advanced. There's videos out there that tries to prove the homunculus experiment is fake, but then again, maybe they didn't do it right. Maybe they didn't wait long enough or else made some noise. The process is reportedly very delicate and can take at least a couple tries to master. This footage was taken in 2011. A man is wandering the woods in Pennsylvania when his flashlight chances upon one of the most popular humanoids of all time. This Sasquatch is devoid of pigment and doesn't put up much of a fight, instead taking off as soon as the flashlight beam hits its face. Notice not only how fast it runs, but also how silently it moves. Somehow it was able to watch the cameraman from less than 10 feet away and get away with hardly any noise. Could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? Published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the Ghost subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weather Spoon. In Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. This old dormitory has a story to tell. According to the channel 01 Supernatural Studio, who published this video in February of 2022, this dormitory was left behind by a foreign company. After an incident happened in this place, what type of incident though? Well, he doesn't go into detail, but considering the company left this place abandoned, it must not be a good one. Using thermo technology along with an EMF meter, the ghost hunter quickly detects some energy here. As he's exploring the place, he's ascending the stairs when his EMF meter again detects an energy field. His thermo technology spies what looks like a figure in the corner. Later, while he's standing still, he hears a faint noise coming from somewhere within the house. Who is there with him? Maybe this dorm hasn't been abandoned after all. A group of friends are recording themselves lifting weights and basically just joking around in a small gym. The situation suddenly becomes very serious when one of them leaves the room and then comes rushing back to bang on the glass for help. Three, you say I'm gonna pick you up. Four. No way. What? What is he? Where are you doing? A tentacle-like appendage seems to wrap around their friend's waist and pulls him away. 
The group goes outside and searches for their friend Nathan, but he has vanished. Then another friend goes missing too. There. Hey, come on. I could count as one. Hey, no. ah! hey, hey. Well. Open the door. Open the back. The two survivors run back into the building to talk about what just happened. One of them is in complete denial and thinks that they are simply being pranked. They are talking about whether this is really happening or not when suddenly their worst fears are confirmed. <laughs> You're not laughing at this? This is crazy. This is hilarious. That's nasty. Yeah, that's nasty. Well, there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI. The uploader has not come out and said that this was a short film and said they insist it's real. Most of the people in the comments section agree that this is authentic, but I'd definitely like to hear what you think. Check out what a YouTuber named Aqua Chigger found growing on the bottom of a river in Williamsport, Maryland. It's a riverbed full of green gelatinous plant life that strangely sways and shimmers. Aqua Chigger believes he may have found some kind of a brightly colored underwater alien colony. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I certainly do think this is a strange find. Let me know if you have seen anything like it before. And if so, what it could be. A YouTuber named Dagger Production is playing the remastered Call of Duty when he hears someone messing with the entrance to his house. According to Dagger Productions, this is the exact moment the encounter began. Listen closely to this part and you'll hear what sounds like the front door slamming as the person runs away. It sounds like the door slams from the other side of the house, but Dagger Productions returns to his room a second later. He wouldn't be able to slam the far door and get back to the camera that fast if he was just making this up. Shameo, New Mexico is where you'll find the famous Ghost Garage. A paranormal hotspot along the highway where a ghost or two just might climb into your car. This person thinks they have a real paranormal video of a spirit caught on tape in this video. I kind of see what he's talking about but you really must pay attention or you'll miss both of these two ghost sightings. Do you see their faces? I think I might. Then again, I would like to see the original video without the filter. Only then will we know what these bizarre figures truly are. This bizarre video of Space Mountain was recorded by a YouTuber named Jake Tungsten. Jake originally recorded it just to have a memory of the thrilling ride forever, but when he reviewed it later, he saw what in his words was a real ghost. Some sort of phantasm does seem to briefly materialize and hover in the right side of the screen as the roller coaster passes by, then the same thing happens as the roller coaster climbs upwards. Finally, a transparent figure briefly appears to the right of the track during the descent. I'm not sure if these are real or just some sort of hologram projections created by Disney, but the man who recorded this is absolutely convinced that he has caught a ghost on tape. It could even be the famous Mr. One-Way ghost seen in the previous video. If you have ever seen anything similar on the Space Mountain ride, let me know. Together, maybe we can verify this rumor or finally put it to rest. Two friends are live streaming in Malaysia when some of the scariest moments of their lives are caught on camera in front of all of her followers. Scary. <laughs> Shadows swirl overhead and the door slams shut even though they are the only two people home. When she looks back, her friend is no longer the same person who she's always known. Okay, okay. Okay, stop, stop. 
If you look closely, you can see she grabs a cross out of her purse. As soon as she touches the object to her friend's arm, she screams as if the object burns her to the core. A couple other points for my final analysis. When the lights go out at 1 minute and 7 seconds, you can see a shadow person walk into the room. This shadow was caught on live stream and apparently is not special effects. 2. They are listening to some really creepy music before all of this scary stuff happens. It doesn't even sound like a song, just a slowed down chant of some kind. What is this person saying and is this related to what happened to her friend? She seems very scared when she ends the live stream, and most people seem to agree this video is both paranormal and real. Nothing is more terrifying than surveillance footage of an event, especially one that ends human life. This video footage shows three suspects involved in a double life taking in South Ogden, Utah. Surveillance footage surrounding the scene of the event captured two suspects peering through the home's windows and later a masked man fleeing the scene. All three suspects were wearing hard plastic masks. According to several news articles documenting the event, police believe the incident was not random but targeted and that the suspects were familiar with both the people in their home. South Ogden Police Chief Darren Park noted that while well reports of a loud party had been made to police, he asked any witnesses to come forward and said in a statement that he hoped the families of the people will gain some closure. Multiple surveillance cameras caught the suspects scoping out the home. One suspect was wearing a mask while the two others wore opaque plastic masks as they approached. One camera showed a suspect crouch down, watching the home for a while, after which the second suspect and later the third joined in. A second camera caught them peering into the home's windows. Following the event, one of the men was seen on a third camera hopping over a fence. As of the latest update found online, dated March 2019 by ABC4, the double life taking remains unsolved. More has been pieced together of the night's events, including the fact that three of the Van Komen brothers lived in the home, while the unfortunate older neighbor, Kevin Nelson, had just dropped by when the event occurred. Once two of the Van Komen brothers left to pick up some food, leaving just one and one other roommate inside, the stranger seized the opportunity to enter. The brothers were gone for no more than 10 minutes, and when they returned, they found Kyle passed away on the floor. Van Komen's mother, Renee Finch, said of the footage, I think that it's creepy that they're out there watching. Adding later, we're very thankful we didn't lose all three of our boys that night. Nelson's nephew, Ralph Nelson Jr., also said of his uncle that he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A feeling echoed by Finch, who doesn't know why her son might be targeted. There was no clear motive for the double life taking, which is likely why the trail remains cold today. Despite over 70 people being questioned over the past three years, unsolved mysteries are inherently terrifying, and the coldness of this case compounds that fear. The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. 
and then again they hear footsteps. I, yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you The Chernobyl power plant left this place covered in radiation in 1986. Only recently was a small part reopened for tourism in 2011. The rest is still too radiated and therefore off limits. Russian YouTuber Vlad Reznov wants to test these limits. He goes exploring the woods and finds an old abandoned cottage. That would be perfect for a 24-hour challenge. Night falls. Roving cliques are rumored to be out here. Families aggressively changed by radiation who don't like outsiders. And they know he's here. They can't get inside because he's tied the doorknob to the bedpost, so they can't go around the outside. <laughs> now is his chance. He opens the door while they are trying to get in through a window. Not sure if there is more waiting for him inside and expecting to get jumped around every corner. The bike is outside. He has to get to his bike. He makes it out of there, but there is an overall lack of urgency to this video that makes me think it could be fake. We don't ever get to see this mutant family, so it could be one of his friends opening the door. They probably found an abandoned house and thought it would be a good place for a scary video, but I guess we'll never know for sure. The last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them, but we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. Dennis and Tim team up in this video on YouTube channel Nerve Paranormal, and they think this poltergeist is pushing them to do dangerous things. Upon entering the abandoned site, they find something out of place. Mm -hmm. As they explore, Dennis sees something pass by. Then as they enter... <laughs> if that wasn't scary enough, this happens... No, <laughs> I agree that it's time to leave, but will the evil poltergeist let them? Oh, 
Денис, куда? Давай туда. With nowhere to go, they tried to escape from the roof. But they decide against it. Типа, ты имеешь в виду подталкивать нас на это? Да. На опасный житель? Да. Слушай, а мы его тут не, не сможем просто да? Я не помню. They re-enter the house and leave out the window instead. That was a close call, and I agree with Dennis that the poltergeist was trying to drive them out via a risky route. I'm glad they didn't listen though. Sean Baker noticed this strange thing living in his backyard not too long ago, and now the situation has become too large for him to ignore any longer. Started out as a little white, regular mushroom, and now it's grown into something demonic. Whatever it is, one thing is for sure. The strange-looking mass is able to withstand a lot of punishment. Get it. It's like it's bleeding. It oozes some sort of weird sludge in response to his attacks that I really hope is not toxic. Even with the help of a 2x4, Sean Baker is ultimately unable to bust the thing open or pry it loose from the earth. He curses the seemingly permanent growth in his backyard and ends the video in disgust. This almost certainly has to be some sort of rare fungus in my opinion, though I'm not sure what kind. But then again, maybe it really is from somewhere far away like Sean Baker seems to believe, perhaps even space. I'm hoping that together we can identify exactly what this thing is, and more importantly, how to get rid of it. This is one of the more popular videos that many people feel. is clear evidence of Bigfoot. The video looks a little too blurry for me to be sure, but I don't recognize this scene from any movie or television series, so it could very well be real. If it is real, however, my only question is why this 5 second clip is so short. Maybe this person became afraid for their life, went spotted, and abruptly ran for cover. Mr. Green published this video in 2016. His description reads, Just a normal night with me, the missus, and our dog Freddy. Then, all of a sudden, he went mental at the wall or window, and whatever it was just touched him. This is no joke. I'm freaking out. The dog is barking at the window in the beginning of the clip. Then suddenly, he backs away sharply and quickly. The couple believes the ghost touched their dog because of this jerking movement. The window. <laughs> what the f The dog spends the remainder of the video running around the house like a madman, looking for the ghost. He's no longer barking, but he does seem very agitated. His owner tells him to calm down now, and he does seem to calm down for a moment. But when the owner picks him up to hold him, he starts barking hysterically again. What could have touched that poor dog? Was it a ghost? If it was a ghost, what did it want and where did it go? A YouTuber named Seeking Legends has over seven years worth of videos where he tracks down spirits and cryptids throughout the Las Vegas area and surrounding states. His subscribers know he doesn't play up his videos at all and isn't afraid to say when he thinks a location has nothing abnormal to offer. This wasn't the case when he went to a haunted forest on February 16, 2018 in search of the infamous White Witch, the spirit of a woman who once hiked this area a lot with her family and who was taken captive by unsavory locals. She escaped, but her family did not, and ever since then she has been roaming the woods looking for revenge. She cursed the land before taking her life in the very spot Cryptid Hunter stands now. He uses a paranormal dousing rod, which is said to be able to tap into supernatural energy to better communicate with any nearby spirits. It isn't long before he finds one to speak with. Can you point the rod to me? You see that I'm not moving this. And I do mean speak with. 
There are no approaching footsteps, so it's not someone hiking. Just eerie voices carrying over the water, just like the legends say. And the voices patiently wait until the command is complete before talking again. Bend the rod in the opposite direction of me. I don't think it's his nerves moving the rod, and his hand looks almost completely still to me. So maybe there's some truth to this piece of equipment after all. If you were a victim of somebody in here, can you make my rod spin, please? Here is an even better close-up of his hand at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. As the spirits continue to turn it around and around, none of his fingers are moving at all in the slightest. When asked for additional confirmation that the White Witch is here, two strange notes play. If you don't think this is paranormal, then tell me what you think would have made this noise in the middle of the forest. Soon he feels a presence guiding him and uses the rod to determine where to go next. If this is where you want me to be, stop spinning the rod. Now, where are you standing? Point the rod. These instructions are further confirmed using his EMF meter, and at the end is a strange beeping noise coming from deeper in the woods that the EMF meter can't even make. If this is where you wanted me to stand. And just to prove it wasn't a coincidence, he easily gets it to respond again. Can you do that again? Thank you. There's no button on the meter for him to press to make it go up, supernatural or not. This was all the work of an external force of some kind. Every time he challenges the witch to move the meter, it does so without fail. Like here for example, the timing is too much of a coincidence to be fake. Now, unless you can make this device go on, then I'm not going to believe that anything is here haunting this area. Apparently, it must have grown frustrated using the EMF meter over and over again, so it decides to answer his demands in a different way. Make the lights go on. If you are the sole And before you say these are just lightning bugs, look again. They go from left to right one time, and then start over again in the exact same spot, so it's likely not an insect. It's getting dark soon, and the park closes, so Seeking Legends has to leave. Hopefully someday he returns to resume the conversation. But witch spirits aren't his only specialty. As mentioned before, Seeking Legends has experience hunting cryptids too. The desert cave is said to be plagued by skinwalkers. Walkers, vicious tricksters of Native American legend who can assume a semi-human animal-like form. He isn't able to go down far because of breathing problems, but his worries start no sooner than the entrance when this glow stick, hung up as a marker to avoid getting lost, begins to sway in place all on its own. He's nowhere near where it begins to move, and maybe it's just me, but it looks like it's swinging even harder three minutes later, definitely not slowing down. Then outside of the cave, he hears what could be a Native American drum. Listen, I hope the camera's catching that. Hello? And with one hand on the camera and the other visible, the angle shows it couldn't have been him making the noise. Please tell me you guys heard that. I will admit that the drums are a little hard to hear, but this last part isn't. Try to tell me what this voice is saying, because it sounds like it might be a different language to me, perhaps even backwards. I'm interested to see if you think this is a skinwalker or voiceover editing. It sounds like it's coming from behind the camera to me, but I'm not sure. Jamie West is on vacation, and earlier that day, she and her friends had a brief conversation with some random boys at their hotel. It's late at night when they get a knock on their door and find the same group waiting for them outside. Now Jamie and her friends are nervously watching from the other side of the door, trying to decide what to do. Lilith. 
it kind of seems like it could be some innocent back and forth flirting until one of the strangers gets even bolder. They record Jamie and her friends through the crack in the door, encouraging them to come outside in hushed tones all the while. Jamie goes deeper into the hotel room and doesn't answer the door. Let me know if you would have done the same thing, or if you would have taken the chance and opened the door for them. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SufficientFly3271, this redditor wrote, can you feature this in one of your videos? My name is Brittany Keel. I live in Richmond, Vermont, and I hear these noises almost every night slash morning. Finally got it on video. Always around 2.30 in the morning. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Anarchy881 writes, Dogman maybe? While Dusty Stories wrote, Don't know what we're supposed to be hearing besides tree frogs and birds. But whatever it was, my dog was very interested in what it was saying. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. Two things that you should never mess with. A Ouija board and the spirit world. Posted by Big Rig Jiggin to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Big Rig claims that when he leaves this Ouija board out on the table, something strange happens. According to Big Rig, this video has been time edited due to it taking over 70 hours to get this footage. I tried to sit and watch for the movements so I could record. The only times it was happening is when I left the room and came back hours later. Big Rig leaves a Ouija board on the table with the planchette sitting at the top pointing downward. He passes his hand over the table and around the planchette, assumedly to show there are no strings attached. Then he leaves the room. The planchette sits still for a long while, but after a time, it starts moving around the board. It appears to slide all across the board, moving around of its own accord. The movement is also shown at a different angle. As you can see, the desk is thick, so magnets are likely at play here. NitroFox0 states in the comments that leaving the planchette on the board is a big no-no, and the fact that it's trying to leave the board means the spirit is trying to escape. Never really thought of that. Now this unexplainable Ouija board activity seems even creepier. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Wherever he goes, it follows. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. Let There Be Light, posted to the ghost video subreddit by Zombie Foxes, the Redditor explains, 
The security guard quit after seeing the CCTV of an orb walking through a car park and turning on lights in the storage room. The lights can only be turned on with a sensor when you walk four to five steps in the bike store, which also requires a fob to access it. The video shows the car park in question. For a while, there's nothing to see here, but then the tiny white speck or orb floats slowly across the scene from the bottom right of the screen to the door. Just as it arrives there, the light beyond flicks on. Coincidence? Or is there just something here that we cannot see? If it's true that the lights are only triggered when a person enters, then who or what's inside? No wonder the security guard didn't want to stick around. In this creepy video, Ghost hunter Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this spooky abandoned building. As they approach, one of the crew sees something, but what they find is not meant to be found. Opa! Tem alguém aí? Pode ter gente aqui, irmão. Calma, calma, calma. Despite the freaky scene they enter, and they soon regret it. After being bombarded by the bat, the team later hears a noise in the abandoned home. They look around to find its source. Of course, they flee, but the mystery of the figure draws them back in. Oh. Olha o prego, ó. Eu falei que que eu me rasguei, irmão. Que o prego aqui, ó. Tá doendo meu braço, velho. But the hooded figure has now disappeared. It appears to me as though the crew walked straight into a ritual of some kind. But what type of ritual is the million dollar question? Polar19 posted this video of her beagle in 2008. She wrote, This is my six month old beagle, Lewis, who started barking and growling at something in the kitchen, mostly focusing on the open cupboard. He has been known to wake up in the middle of the night, barking and growling at something unseen. The YouTuber says that Louise won't calm down until she lets the dog patrol the house. In the video, the dog is barking towards the pantry. He walks further into the kitchen and starts howling. Backing up again, he howls and growls at the pantry. He walks forward again, still howling and sniffing the ground. He just keeps at it, backing up, walking forward, barking, growling and howling until the video ends. YouTube commenters note that the dog's hair is standing on end, and the guttural sounds the dog is making are usually a warning. What could he possibly seen in the darkened pantry that we don't? Whatever it is must be well hidden, as you can hear something growl back at the dog at 45 seconds into the video. So there must be something there. An urban exploration channel called JJ Retro is exploring an abandoned house on the edge of an English village late at night. You can tell he's nervous just standing at the entrance of this creepy estate. It's time to come exploring somewhere like this because we're in the middle of nowhere um, on the outskirts of Slinfold at this rather creepy house and uh, there's a sort of haunted feel to it. Outside, they find a spooky tree with a rope slung over the branch and a plank of wood to step off of. I don't think we need to spend much time explaining what kind of scary events happened here. And when they start exploring the inside, every room fills them with a renewed sense of dread. Yeah, this this is creepy. This is probably the creepiest building we've done so far in our urban exploring career. Ooh. They try to joke their way out of how scary this urban exploration is, but eventually they have to admit they are getting spooked by something paranormal in the house with them. 
Weird noises are coming from upstairs, or so they say, but to be honest, I don't hear anything. But as they slowly creep up the stairs, I can actually hear the weird sound, and that's when they get it. The creepy encounter caught on camera that they were all looking for. No. No. Hello? And that's when, with all of them on the steps, mind you, the urban explorers see a rocking chair moving on its own. No, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> and that was the haunted house here in Slimfold and with. Since part of the chair is hidden by the doorway, maybe somebody was off camera making the chair move. Otherwise, this place is definitely haunted. Exploring with Devin is a YouTube channel full of mini adventures and gaming vids. This time, Devin is biking along the side of the road when he sees this creepy old abandoned house waiting to be explored. Soon, a full-grown adult appears in the overgrown front lawn and questions him while walking forward. What are you doing in here? I just wanted to explore. What are you feeling? No, I just wanted to explore. He accuses Devin of taking from his property. Even though it looks like there is nothing worth taking, who knows what would have happened if he reached Devin, or how exactly he plans to search him. Once he gets a good distance away, Devin says that he didn't take anything and that the man is trespassing anyway. The property looks abandoned, but the man does check his mailbox while he is out there. So he either does own this property or has completely lost his mind. Everyone has a smartphone nowadays. This means that at a moment's notice, any scary encounter with a stranger can be caught on video with the press of a button. YouTuber Savage Squad 1 published one of these scary stranger encounters in November of 2016. He wrote in the video's description, Sorry if I didn't film the whole thing, I was running. Running from what? The footage starts in the middle of things and shows a group of teenage boys gathered on top of a children's toy at a park. A woman is seen approaching them in order to confront them. One of the boys apparently had said something rude so rude that she felt the need to threaten him with a knife. Although the video didn't capture the entire encounter, it appears as though one of the boys said something about how he himself was raised. He badmouthed his upbringing and his parents. The woman mentions this and then says to remember that people carry knives. Are you gonna hide? Are you gonna stay up there? Oh my god, you were raised pretty bad, weren't you? So, remember that people carry knives, I and when you keep talking about your own parents. And she pulls out her little switchblade to remind them, but once it is out, the video ends. We don't know if there was a big showdown or not, but from what the uploader said, the kids ran away. Can you blame them? A YouTuber named Dark Exploration Films is checking out an old abandoned police station in New York City to see what he can find. He makes his way through some old dark service tunnels and finally comes out on the other side. The police station starts off as a series of twisting hallways filled with old electronics, paper documents, and various forms of evidence. As Dark Exploration Films goes deeper, he finds a lonely medical wing filled with abandoned beds. The walls look particularly clean until he comes into a final room that looks absolutely wrecked. Guys, I have no idea what we just walked into, but it's clear it's a medical room. On the floor, he finds a red stain that he thinks is absolutely real, and based on the realistic splatter pattern, I tend to agree. He steps over it and finds one last scary item a bright orange biohazard container with the lid open. The container is pretty much empty, but it doesn't exactly look clean. Hopefully the mysterious white powdery substance inside is just chipped paint flakes and not something that is dangerous to inhale. I wish him the best, 
but I hope there's more info on what was in that container. With a Ouija board in hand, a YouTuber named Contagious Noise takes her girlfriend and her sister to an old barn that's just beyond city limits. They are positive that this barn is very haunted and therefore the perfect place to contact the other side. The group laughs and carries on playfully at first, but it isn't long before the situation grows alarmingly serious. Tell me if it really looks like the pointer is moving all by itself here. I'm my grandma. I'm not doing it. Garrett? I swear on everything. I'm not. Look at my fingers. Are. Soon they contact the spirit of a four-year-old who could possibly be named Ryan. They are trying to ask it more questions when out of nowhere it spells out the name Grace, which is the name of one of the girls. The spirit doesn't seem to want to give any real answers. Sometimes the Ouija board simply spells letters at random. Just when they get the feeling that a spirit is messing with them, a random noise confirms their suspicions. Or ask who the four-year-old was. Why they're here? Did you hear that? Yeah. Each one of them promises that they are not playing a joke and they decide to try again. This time, the Ouija board spells out a single word. Help. Um, Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> a Malaysian man is determined to rid his home of a spirit that has been haunting his family. After eight minutes of meditation and recital, a section of the wall begins to move like someone's pressing on it. If it was the wind, then this object moves when it's all the way over here. Shortly afterwards, this strange sighting is caught on camera. It looks like a piece of dust or hair to some. Others see a special island spirit called a Pokong that's twisted tightly in white robes. This part could be CGI, but that doesn't explain the object spinning on the floor by itself, away from him and away from any potential breeze. If you've ever wondered whether or not exorcisms are real, here is your answer. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the supposedly possessed woman in the video is making hissing and rasping noises as her exorcist lays a hand on her. Another young man holds her wrists. She opens her mouth like a snake, ready to strike, while she continues to hiss and rasp at them. In a second clip, her expression appears almost normal for a moment, but a second later, her eyes roll into the back of her head and she hisses strangely, arching her back until her body is up from the couch. Before slumping over, like the demon has left her. You may be skeptical about possessions, but this woman does not look like she is acting. We can only hope the demon did leave and is gone for good. Ready to hear one of the most bone-crunching sounds in the world? This was captured at the Australian Reptile Park. The bone-crunching noise gives me the chills beyond belief. According to the BBC, saltwater crocodiles take the lives of an estimated 1,000 people per year, many more than sharks do. Would you want to run into one of these monsters? Me neither. A YouTuber named Sturin's Wild World is grabbing some firewood from a pile when she notices something small and dangerous moving from within. You probably don't see anything and neither did I at first. Without some hesitation, she carefully uses a grabbing stick to extract the beast from its hiding spot. It's not just any cobra, it's a cobra that actually spits venom. The sight fills her with fear and fascination. Watch as she keeps its mouth pointed away from her as she examines its body. She is giving some basic information about the species when it somehow slips past her guard. It doesn't look like she loosens her grip at all, but rather the snake flattens its jaws and slides through. Okay, the reason. 
why I'm in love. Whoa! She manages to snag it by the tail again and moves backwards as the snake comes at her, spitting venom all the while. The video ends before she gets a chance to release it, but based on how it's aggressively moving towards her, I have no idea how she plans to get away. A large white creature has been constantly creeping around the yard of a YouTuber named Sans for a long time now and no one knows what it is. The latest sighting happens during broad daylight and his camera is able to pick up more detail than ever before. You can see here that the creature is not very big, roughly around the same size of a nearby dog, and judging from this dog's behavior, I'd say this is clearly a real creature and not one of his friends wearing a costume. If you need more proof that this isn't a person, watch how it scratches its head with its foot at a weird angle. No human would be able to kick that fast. I would say that this is a rabbit, but I don't really see any ears and the legs look distinctly human when it walks. Tell me what animal you think this is. Until I get a better explanation, I will continue thinking that this is probably a humanoid of some kind. First, let me give a fair warning to headphone users. That this next clip is kind of loud. A YouTuber named Sapphire Rose says that her toy bird has been doing really weird things as of late. Most of the time it plays cheerful pre-recorded bird noises like it's supposed to, but occasionally it will sound like this. Oh my god! Why is he doing this? Sapphire Rose also says that the bird will sometimes make an even louder shriek that sounds like it came straight from the underworld, but she didn't manage to record it that day. Some people left her a comment saying that her toy simply needs new batteries, but if that were the case, then I can't help but wonder why it sometimes sounds completely normal and other times like it's completely possessed. A person in Ukraine was filming a calm river one evening just in time to capture a humanoid looking creature cross underneath of a bridge using all fours. As the footage shows, something is grabbing onto the underside of a bridge and silently making its way across. Exactly what the creature is remains a debate online to this day. Some people have pointed out that this could be a human, but others have noticed how its legs and arms appear to be the exact same length. It almost looks like it could be an animal, but I'm not aware of any animal from this region that likes to hang upside down from bridges. Besides, if someone had to go underneath a bridge like that for whatever reason, then they would either hang from their arms or else hug the bridge tightly while creeping across. This thing, on the other hand, just swings across the bottom like it's no big deal. Human or not, this thing definitely has a very bizarre center of gravity as it moves. Not to scream, don't let me stop you. Number 5. A paranormal researcher is walking through a graveyard in Colombia when a sudden strange feeling makes him turn around in time to see a mysterious figure walk behind a spooky tree and it's all caught on tape. The brave paranormal investigator quickly runs up to the other side of the tree and, with no editing cuts that I notice, observes that the figure has mysteriously disappeared. The phantom-like apparition has long hair and walks with its head down. Something tells me that if this is real, then it was taking a few steps from its grave before disappearing from sight. Like I said, I don't see any editing from the time he sees the ghost to the time he runs up the tree. So this was all done in one continuous take as far as I can tell, and is most likely a real paranormal ghost sighting caught on tape. This is the last thing you would want to see in the middle of the road at night. Published to YouTube by Christian Garcia in October of 2017, this clip is titled Witch on the Road. The footage shows a motorcyclist driving on dirt roads in the middle of the night. After a time, he comes across a person sitting on the side of the road in the darkness. The person is wearing blue pants, a white shirt, and has gray hair. She doesn't look up, even with the headlights of the motorcycle spotlighting her. The cyclist takes off, but then decides to turn around again. They approach the witch, say hello, and ask what her name is. When they receive no real response, Hola, señora. They drive off into the night, leaving this person, or witch as they say, in the darkness on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. What would you do in just such a situation? 
YouTuber Mario Batanker 2 writes in the comments, Ghost or non-ghost, it's always a little disquieting if not disturbing. A being in a place so far, dark and alone. I think this video generates more sensations than many super elaborate videos that come up in such situations. What sensations do you feel? I feel terrified. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying. When you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his head. According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list just in case. Jim Lin is visiting Harbin, Japan and now faces bowl after bowl of gourmet insects. The pressure is on to sample the culture by eating as many different dishes as he can. At 4 minutes and 1 seconds, the juices of a plump cicada hits the back of his throat with a loud squirt. The insides look wet and green, and not like something I would look forward to trying. How would you even tell if this was cooked right? But there's still more bugs to eat. This oversized grasshopper looks more like a crayfish. They are in a busy market with music and people having conversations everywhere, and yet the crunch is louder than anything else going on. When in Rome, do as the Romans do is an age-old expression that means you should follow the rules of other cultures in their country. But I don't think everyone could handle this bug buffet. It may just make your jaw drop. A YouTube channel called Paranormal Voyages has one of the best videos of otherworldly evidence I've seen in a long time. This haunting video is taken at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, a place where you can spend the night with over 2,000 creepy clown dolls inside. While they are busy addressing any spirits nearby, one of the life-size clown mannequins reaches out for a ghost hunter and possibly makes contact with them. Watch its arm move on its own. Are you a text she looks back, genuinely surprised, only to see the clown doll smiling innocently at her, as if it's never moved by itself. I guess somebody could have been hiding behind the creepy doll to make its arm move, but if not, then this would have to be one of the scariest moments I've ever seen caught on tape. The Bassett Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that, it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. Filmed in Canada, this footage has some wondering if this is real. Posted by TikToker Flamecatcher2, in short, it is very real but super rare. Popular Mechanics explains that they are produced by heat plumes stretching miles into the atmosphere and colliding. Only a few anomalies have been recorded prior to this eerie clip. In fact, over the last several years, there have been a number of sightings both in 2018 and 2019. As they become more prominent, scholarly papers investigate how they are formed. This is but one case of it being caught on video, and as some TikTokers thinking this is the most terrifying thing ever, Master Sloth Gaming asks, has anyone tried turning the world off and back on again? Now that's a valid question. Blurry Faces is a YouTuber exploring two mysterious schools standing next to each other. They were both built around World War II and have been abandoned for a long time. Everything starts out normal until Blurry Faces is exploring an upstairs room full of classroom furniture. 
After that, something seems to be stalking them at every turn. The strange banging noises only grow louder and more persistent as time wears on. I will give them credit for being courageous and sticking around for so long. This is the event that finally makes them lose their composure and scramble. This time, Blurry Faces bravely tests the weight of the door himself and finds that it's way too heavy to swing open with such ease. You can tell he is putting a lot more effort into opening and closing the door than whatever just opened it moments earlier. Tell me what's written in Spanish across the door and if it has any significance to what could be possibly lurking inside. A YouTuber named Hello Ryan Holmes lives in a house that you and I want no part of. Scary noises have become part of a daily ritual stemming from paranormal activity, or so he suspects. So when it happens again, Ryan grabs a camera to see if he can catch a ghost on video. Did you just did you just see that? I definitely just heard somebody run up the stairs. Ryan thinks he hears creeping noises of a ghost running up the stairs. Ghost or not, he is definitely not alone. Camera in hand, Ryan gets no further than the kitchen before he realizes. What the f All of the cabinets have mysteriously opened on their own, and when he goes to close them. Why the f is everything open? What the f What the f He turns around only to find that the ghost has moved every object in his kitchen back to where it was. It looks normal at first, but I think there is an editing cut here at two minutes when he briefly zooms into the cabinet for no reason at all. He could have stopped recording, moved all of the objects, and then started recording again to make it seem like it was all done in one take. A YouTuber named Ariane Childress is a ghost hunter using some sort of paranormal software that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like split screen night vision with some sort of enhancement feature on the right. Anyway, Ariane uses the program to capture what appears to be an oversized face lingering in her window. Well, seriously, I'm like looking at this window. There's nothing out there. <laughs> it looks like there's a face. That's really creepy. She says that she's been feeling watched in real life when she turned the app on and pointed it towards the window. Meanwhile, the colors continue to switch from pitch black to a gray discolored face. Not normal. Be sure to let me know what this app is and how it works if you have any knowledge. Two friends look out the window and see a mysterious figure dressed in all white, roaming the graveyard without shoes. She has her head down and pays absolutely no attention to them, even as they call out to her. Hey, what you doing, girl? Yo, that is creepy you know, as. What the? F what happened? What the f is she doing? Why is she touching other people's graves? Finally, she starts to walk towards them, and they quiet down. One of the friends quickly points out that now she knows where they live. He screams out the window that she's scaring him, and she walks away, still completely lost in her own world. Here's where things get even more weird. She heads to the back of the graveyard, spins around a few times, and then disappears behind a tall gravestone. I'm holding this camera until she come out from behind that tombstone. Yo, she's not coming back. She's gone. Where the f did she go? We watched her walk behind a tombstone and she's gone. They think that she has vanished, but I think she could have just been sitting down on the other side. The two friends say that they kept filming for a long time and never saw her again, so maybe she really did disappear. Still, it's hard to tell if this was a genuine spirit or just someone with a morbid attraction to graveyards. A fire erupted at St. Anthony's School in Octonal Falls, Wisconsin. On February 21st, 2012, damaging the interior beyond recognition. At the time, the school had 42 students. Portions of the exterior of the 55 year old school were visibly damaged, while a layer of soot and ash coated the attached St. Anthony Church. 
Father Joel Sember said that the parish was taking the fire very personally. In his words, this is part of their family, it's part of their community, and so they are taking this as if it happened to their home. While the fire was certainly devastating, the school was empty at the time, so at least no one was harmed. Father Sember noted that the fire could have been far more destructive had the fire department not been so efficient. The fire is believed to have been intentional, although it's unclear if they ever found the culprit. Redditor Go Bartlett went apartment viewing, and what they spotted in the footage later gave them pause. Watch the walkthrough and see if you can spot it. Did you see it? Keep your eye on the far corner of the room, next to the window. It looks like a tentacle reaches out from the corner of the wall before disappearing a moment later. The Redditors in the comments had some thoughts. While the comments on this one are the usual mixed bag, I personally like to think something Stranger Things-esque is living in the walls here. I too would skip this one. A TikTok user named Caesar in MP is piloting a plane when he sees an oddly terrifying unknown flying object skimming the clouds. <laughs> Just below, the tiny circular object appears to have no propellers and emits no exhaust. It looks like it's moving extremely fast, but keep in mind Caesar is passing it in his own aircraft, so its exact speed is unknown. A regular civilian drone could not move at this rate of speed, and its design looks more complex than a regular drone. So what do you think? Secret project? Or something from someplace much farther away than Earth? A man draws suspicion when he holds his phone a little too high while looking away. When he does look at his phone, he appears to be in deep concentration. Little does he know the window behind him reflects his screen, betraying him and telling the whole story to anyone quick enough to notice. Look to the right and you'll see the blurry image of a woman sitting. He is obviously recording the female passenger for whatever reason, who is secretly recording him in return. This continues for well over a minute. He is looking straight at his screen, and there's no possible way he doesn't know the camera is on. The idea of watching someone through your phone is beyond creepy. And if he was recording a video, who knows how many times he watched it later in his free time. A child is left alone for just a moment, but still long enough for her to have a possible conversation with a ghost. Look across from her at the wrapped silverware in front of the glass, and watch what it does as she speaks. The silverware moves all by itself shortly after she reminds an invisible person that this is not their dinner. She could be talking to an imaginary friend, but that doesn't explain how the object moved without being touched. The ghost appears to leave her alone after this brief interaction, and she happily resumes eating as if nothing happened. Exactly what it was planning to do to their food could be anyone's guess. There are rumors of a small cult living on a forgotten side road somewhere by the Baltimore Turnpike just off Route 1. A YouTuber named Dragon Lafferty claims to know its exact location and has uploaded proof. It isn't long before him and his friends pass another vehicle, which turns around and starts tailgating them at high speeds. Coming right up on us too. Ouch. Ouch. Yep. <laughs> Yay! We're being chased! <laughs> The car continues to come at them down the winding road way too fast, alternating between high beams and total darkness all the while. Dragon Lafferty and his friends nervously play off the chase like it's no big deal, but I can tell that they are nervous. The cult member eventually disengages upon reaching the main road. Everyone is lucky to have made it out alive, but then they have a very bad idea. I 
I don't know what would happen if we stopped. People said they'd do it, but they never said, like, what happened. Their last update was more than eight years ago, so maybe they followed through with their plan and were never heard from again. A small dog barks its head off at the door while a second one sits quietly like nothing is wrong. After barking for seven seconds, the dog tracks an invisible figure with its head, and then piano music plays, followed by a faraway voice soothingly saying the word deer. According to the uploader, they did not hear this piano music or the voice until they watched this video. In fact, the only reason they started recording in the first place was because one dog was barking and not the other. Nobody else was in the house, and this was just before 3 a.m. If something falls from above, the universe may be trying to tell you something. Published to YouTube in June of 2020 by MD Vines Official, this will leave you shaking. Out in the jungle at night, a group is discussing something while standing outside of this obscure structure. The moon is full above. They start to see a small point of light blinking in the darkness. They follow it as it moves. Then all of a sudden something heavy like a brick falls from above. The group starts running like mad. What just tried to take their lives? Whatever it is, the creature is vengeful. They better watch their step. Deep inside these tunnels lies something no one was meant to see. Published to YouTube in November of 2016, Connor Does Adventure explains, We did not fake or plan any of this. We just started recording for a blog and this is what we found. Entering deep into a watery tunnel, the boys start to hear something. No, I can't see. They all freak each other out and start running towards an exit. At first you think they were just scared and adrenaline caught up with them, but it turns out someone or something was in fact chasing them. Once out in the sunlight, they stand at the entrance before heading into the tunnel a short ways again. A strange squealing sound can be heard, and as the camera focuses in, a figure is clearly seen, although it's unlike any creature you'd ever seen before. It's gray skin and alien-like and it's marching towards them with a determined air. Any ideas what this is? Is it a madman? Or is it a watery tunnel creature? Most importantly, is this thing harmless? Or should they be running immediately? Don't wait around to find out. Earl Kirk Kendall captures a bright light in the sky, but it's not a meteor, lightning, or an unidentified flying device. It's his poor neighbor's house erupting. This video is terrifying because of how calm everything is before, during, and after. There's no warning signs beforehand, and seconds later, you'd never know a family's entire livelihood has gone up in flames. Even scarier, a cause for the incident has yet to be determined, meaning anyone in the neighborhood could be next. Jenlar Sebastian Diamond is a YouTuber who appears to be calling out some sort of high-level corruption, though I have no idea what he means. The first video he ever made is extremely hard to understand because he is mumbling something while holding his ID. Then he plays some text-to-speech program for a minute that unfortunately also makes little sense to me as well. Today that children, their mothers, fathers, and young girls are being severely mistreated. Almost all of his videos start with him showing his ID and then playing the text-to-speech program outside of his window or in various public places. There's little context to go off of which somehow makes these videos even stranger. Even his ordinary trips to the grocery store somehow seem creepy as he slowly photographs everything that he is buying and the receipt like they are all important evidence. Judging by the number of mysterious videos he makes every day, this dark issue must constantly be on his mind. A fearless ghost hunter named Hassan Barbar -Bar takes on a demon in its own home in one of the creepiest paranormal explorations I've seen in a while. First is Snapchat filter which uses facial recognition technology, detects a ghost right in front of him, though I suspect it might be falsely detecting a face from this square on the wall. But what the filter could possibly mistake for a face here at 3 minutes and 37 seconds, I have no idea. Maybe it is a ghost. A bizarre trail of flashing dog images does seem to lead him to the real thing. 
and the extra creepy stuff is all caught on camera. <laughs> The demon is in a small cramped room with no exit, and so Hassan Barbar fearlessly charges forward, fearing no demon. He is expected to have caught it up close on camera, but instead the small room is mysteriously empty, despite there being no other path for it to have escaped through besides the doorway through which he came. He follows the Snapchat filter back to the mysterious square wall, and that's when he sees it again. He runs outside only to find the demon has disappeared from the other side of the wall. The Snapchat taunts him with further positives for a facial recognition. He goes to where the figure was just standing and looks through the wall inside. Sure enough, by now he understands that this jinn can teleport easily and will not be caught today because it simply does not want to be. He leaves for now, sure to be back another day with a plan to draw it even closer next time for a better look at its gruesome face. This video was taken during service at a chapel in the Mexican city of Saltillo in June of 2016. They zoom in on the statue on the wall that just, well, opens its eyes and looks at them. <laughs> My first thought was that the camera coming into focus is probably what makes it look like it's opening its eyes. If not, this could also somehow be a trick of the light. But then again, this still image taken at 1 minute and 4 seconds shows the eyes are totally closed. This image at 1 minute and 10 seconds is taken at roughly the same distance and shows the eyes are definitely now open. So my other guess is computer effects. A man is filming this old medieval building on the Mediterranean island of Sardinia when he notices the curtains of a balcony window are peeled back slightly to reveal a small grayish object peeking out from the bottom. Zoom in and it almost looks like a tiny face or else the top of someone's head who is very short, perhaps a small child. It could be a reflection of the palm tree swaying in the wind, or it could be a trapped spirit staring haplessly at the world to which it no longer belongs. This spinning Elmo toy seems to be deviating from the usual Sesame Street script. Imagine being a small child and hearing this supernatural sounding voice suddenly scream at you. If anyone knows what this Elmo toy is supposed to be saying, then please let me know in the comments. Maybe we can compare what the original toy says to this video and determine if this is a possession or a technical malfunction. Editor Combat Drone is conducting a routine patrol when suddenly something huge and fast enters its airspace. What appears to be some kind of unidentified flying object streaks by the drone. In a gigantic burst of white light, the drone turns around to scan the area, but whatever zoomed past is now long gone. Unfortunately, no further footage was recovered. I don't know if the lack of information surrounding this video is a sign that it's fake or it means the military simply isn't saying anything. The unidentified flying object could be CGI, but outside of that possibility, what you are watching could very well be our first contact with very technologically advanced extraterrestrials. A YouTuber named The Great records a paranormal encounter that he has never been able to explain. His son jumps into the water at 8 seconds, and a pair of phantom hands reach up to push him on the side. It's not his dad because, aside from looking like the hands of a child, you can see his father watching in the background. 
It looks like it has to be another kid, but when his son points the camera at himself to smile, nobody is near, everyone is on the other side of the pool, and that's where they've been the entire time. Also consider this, the father would have stopped his son from jumping if there was another kid right in front of them. Both he and his son look as though they have a clear path ahead before taking the plunge. A YouTube channel called Proper Life dares to take a 24-hour challenge in one of the scariest and most haunted hotels in the USA. Built in 1910, the Stockyards Hotel was the first bed and breakfast business in Fort Worth, Texas. Since then, a number of full-body apparitions from different time periods still haunt the old building. Paranormal sightings that the Proper Life crew hopes to witness for themselves. At 3 a.m., the ghost hunters go exploring the creepy hotel for any late-night signs of being haunted. Ryan soon discovers some handwritten notes left behind by different groups of paranormal investigators, and he reads their words out loud. His recountment seems to inspire some fresh poltergeist activity that's caught on camera. And heard a strange noise in the middle of the room. What the f was that? What? Look at the mirror. A mirror on the wall begins to move on its own. Objects are not moving in the next room over. A room with a fan on full speed, mind you. And yet this much heavier object is moving by itself, which seems paranormal to them. And I guess to me too, for that matter. And when they go exploring the haunted room to further investigate, they discover that the fan, the only thing that could be moving the mirror, is turned off. And then his camera is caught going really out of focus on Zack, like a ghost is near. This keeps happening even though the lighting is fine, and it goes on long enough to be considered paranormal evidence. It's not focusing on you. It's like a flashing. It is not focusing on you. It is not focusing on you at all. Are we good? No. Really? It's not focusing on you. That's really It's weird other camera only does this around Zach. Ever since he went into the same room where an object was caught moving by itself, maybe a spirit has attached itself to him. Meanwhile, more objects continue to move on their own at 3 a.m. when the group splits up to cover more ground. This room's really creepy. Like, do you get the chill in here? Like, I'm, do you feel that? Look at that hat on the wall. Like, I just. I oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Was that not you? Ooh, ooh, that's creepy. Oh, it's still creeping. Oh, go, go, go. And when they reconvene to share their findings, more paranormal evidence is caught on tape. She's like dripping down her face. Did you guys hear that? What was that? Did you guys make a note? The entire Proper Life crew is gathered in the same room in close proximity here, so there's no way those scary noises should be coming from another room, unless you're willing to admit the Stockyards Hotel is beyond creepy and definitely haunted. One night I'm in my bed asleep and this old lady comes out of my closet. She's all like, she's like down her face. Did you guys hear that? What was that? Did you guys make a note? Ben of the YouTube channel, Laney and Ben, says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here's a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness. It doesn't appear that Laney and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. A vision seen by many is sometimes diagnosed as mass hysteria, but when it's caught on video, you cannot deny its existence. This video was published in February of 2012. The clip shows a group of people staring at the sun over the trees. At first, the camera appears to be just capturing the blazing sunlight, but as it focuses in, you can clearly see the shape of a woman within that blinding light. 
The clip, which has gone viral, was filmed in the Ivory Coast. The day prior to this apparition, locals had seen something which appeared to be a blue halo in the sky, a case that many thought was extraterrestrial. But when the apparition appeared using infrared technology, locals instead believed they were witnessing a miracle. Government officials tried to minimize the sighting, saying it was nothing, but some locals believe the apparition may simply be Mary casting her mercy and benevolence over the impoverished region. Whether you call this vision a miracle or not, coupled with the halo that is said to have appeared during the preceding days, these startling forms in the clouds are unexplainable. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh, completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. A Twitch streamer named Nikki is at the height of her game when her stream ends in a way that absolutely no one in her chat could have predicted. Nikki jumps up to see what's wrong and is greeted with shouting demands. If you can understand what she is trying to say back to them, then please let me know. A strange man briefly comes in and begins ransacking the house for valuables. You would think that's where their plans would end, but apparently the plan was also to force them to go to the bank and make large cash withdrawals. Thankfully, her viewers called the police quickly, and at least one of the assailants was caught on the spot. Still, for just a regular stream, this ending is extremely unexpected. I'm just happy the residents of the home were okay. This footage was taken at the Chapelfield Mall in Norwich, UK. The mall is closed when a mysterious red balloon makes an appearance out of nowhere. As you watch this balloon float around on its own, keep in mind that the air conditioning was off, the escalator was off, and there is supposedly no wind blowing in from the outside. If all of this is true, then how exactly did the balloon move without any air currents? Even more bizarre is how the balloon stays low to the ground the entire time. Almost at the height of a child, could this balloon simply be half deflated, or is it being held by a youthful spirit? Final video is about as close as it gets. First, a piece of manufacturing equipment malfunctions and causes a pileup of white-hot steel material. The pressure around the blockage continues to build until coils of unformatted steel shoot across the factory floor. The first worker sees the carnage and runs in a zigzag pattern to escape. The second worker, a supervisor from the looks of his clean white shirt, has his back turned and doesn't notice anything until it's too late to react. A rope of liquid steel stops short at his feet and piles all around him. 
He escapes only to have the machinery behind him burst apart and send more rivets of steel his way. The equipment is shut off, and more of the substance falls to the exact spot where he was just standing. Take a reminder that you never know what or who is behind you. This short clip will have you looking over your shoulder. The video shows a man entering a small elevator. A ghostly woman enters slightly behind him. You can see her in the mirror, distracted on his phone. The man doesn't seem to notice he has company, but when he turns around, the woman has vanished. He is alone in the lift, or at least appears to be. Those in the comments are dying to know where the phantom stalker went and whether or not this man made it out of the elevator. I hope he's alright, but it's really not looking like that's the case. Will you expect to find some creepy stuff in an abandoned funeral home? Abandoned remains are probably not among the usual suspects. Published to YouTube by RNK All Day in March of 2020, the channel writes, we found ashes inside an abandoned funeral home that was condemned due to the funeral director leaving and hiding bodies. It was located in North Carolina. It was closed down in 2012 after client complaints. The funeral home's former owner was put behind bars for not burying the individuals. RNK All Day explores this home and its unnerving history. Amongst the creepy things found inside are Polaroids of the passed on individuals and a squatter's bed made up inside the building. But of course, the most unsettling thing they encountered was a bag of ashes in a torn cardboard box. According to a timestamp on the box, they were from 1995, meaning they've remained there for over two decades. Let's hope they finally received a proper burial. A group of friends are hanging out, basically making a random video to pass the time until their power comes back on. They nervously joke about a number of different scary things that could happen to them while huddled together in the dark when a creepy moment actually does occur. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are an idiot. This is every time, ladies and gentlemen. You are. Oh. What? 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 I just saw something outside. We're not that stupid. No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. No one believes him when he tries to explain that they were being watched in the window by something bizarre outside. But I certainly saw it, and if you didn't, trust me, soon you will. He's creeped out and zooms into the area where he last saw it run off to. That's when he catches a glimpse of the mysterious figure again. Did you hear that? <gasps> oh, I there A strange humanoid creature is crawling on the wall on all floors. They lose sight of it, but that's because it's only seen when it wants to be seen. Soon, its frightening face fills the window, glowing white eyes and all. In an instant, it's gone again until they see movement in the bushes. What's that? What's that? I don't know. I don't know. Shh. Oh my God. Oh my God. When you look at it up close, you can tell it's definitely wearing clothes, maybe a collared shirt underneath a hoodie. So this is probably a skit in just one of their friends. Still, the glowing eyes and lack of a face are freaky. I hope they are special effects and not a humanoid on the prowl. All of them rush outside for a confrontation. One of them brings their arm down while holding something heavy, and with a sickening crunch, it's all over. You get the flashlight. Ah. A YouTuber named Leo Tran is challenged to throw a plastic bottle cap into a trash bag from across the room. At one minute into the video, you can see something is out of the ordinary. But at one minute and 23 seconds, you can see a small face pop up in the window. The small face stays in the window for approximately 33 seconds and ducks out of the way when Leo goes to collect the trash bag. Does this look real or edited to you? Behind this bed, there used to be a door. Look closely to the left of the lamp here and you'll see the outline where it was painted over. There's just one problem. Apparently something on the other side doesn't understand that this is no longer a passageway. The knocking sounds polite yet urgent, definitely human. It really does sound like someone who believes that they belong in this room and expects to be let in at any moment. It seems like her problem is not going to go away on its own anytime soon. I really wouldn't want to see what's inside of that wall. 
but it might be the only way to end the problem for good, or maybe make it way worse. A camera pans across a white room filled with antique furniture and creepy collectibles, which is already bad enough, but when it stops at a tall old mirror, they seem surprised to find a childlike silhouette filling out the frame. As they are studying the child in their shaky gaze, a pair of identical orbs float above her head as two pinpoints of light become barely visible, almost like she is turning her head slightly. I guess this shadow child could simply be a large doll. However, even if this was the case, as far as I'm aware, only the eyes of the living can reflect light like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lifeless doll should never have glowing eyes. The person recording sees the eyes and tears up the steps in a hurry. They would later refer to the event only as the girl with sparkling eyes in the dark. What you are witnessing is rare underwater footage of a Ningen, a gigantic sea creature apparently first spotted by Pacific fishermen sometime in the 90s. The name literally means human, and that's because they tend to have a round head along with four limbs and a skinny torso. The creature is about the size of a submarine, but looks rubbery and boneless. It appears to be mostly carried by ocean currents and has a limited control over its directional course. Since Ningen's sightings are so new, not much is known about these creatures aside from it having a preference for arctic waters and a nocturnal sleep schedule. There's rumors about various government officials suppressing information from the public, so there's no telling what new Ningen footage will leak in upcoming years. It really makes you wonder what other humanoid monsters are possibly being hidden from the world's eye. Eeny meeny miny mo, you don't want this cryptic hand catching you by the toe. Published in October of 2019 by YouTuber Paranormal News, this video has taken Spanish social networks by storm. The clip at first appears sweet. A toddler is hiding on a shelf inside a burrow as her father coaxes her out of there. Watch as a Tales from the Crypt nightmare hand extends out, perhaps luring her further into the darkness. Did a chill just run down your spine? Someone get that baby out of there. This is insanely scary. A ghost hunting crew named Full Moon Inc. Paranormal Investigators are certain they've caught some paranormal activity surrounding a cursed mirror recently purchased at a yard sale. Here's their evidence. A ghost does seem to unclasp the lock. The only way to fake this is with a string, which would be fairly easy to detect at close range, especially against the dark wood. Within a month, the ghost seems to have spread from the haunted mirror and into the kids' room. The Full Moon Inc. investigators are shocked to see a stuffed animal moving on its own. They suspect the toy is haunted by a ghost trying to play with them. The toy on top barely moves. Was the object moved by a ghost or by one of the paranormal investigators hiding behind? Both incidents look real, but let's get your opinion on these paranormal encounters. According to the legend, there are many different ways to summon Bloody Mary, which means that the method you choose could change what happens to you. The person in this video uses a slightly different method that I've never seen before. Instead of spinning around three times and then saying Bloody Mary, she says Bloody Mary once after each spin. This is the end result. Her face becomes smeared and she quickly darts out of the room. If this video is real, then it appears that Bloody Mary somehow removed all of her facial features, perhaps as a warning. A YouTuber named Brady Galloway is exploring an abandoned school all alone when he hears some kind of high-pitched yelp emerge from the other side of a heavy wooden door. It almost sounds like a small dog, even though there is no way that one would be all the way back here. He opens the door, presumably to see if the animal needs help, and waiting on the other side is a creature that was once human. In this frame, one eye is large and yellow, while the other is small and red. His neck looks turned at an impossible angle and almost broken. Even when he gets closer, the two eyes remain different colors, and neither of them are natural in any way as he descends upon Andy with a final blow. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado is thought to be very haunted and was the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining. A YouTuber named Ricky Rock requests the most haunted room, 418, and records himself sleeping. Sounds of movement originate from within the room. 
Then at around 3 a.m., he claims the spirit entered his body. This is the exact moment it happened. He sits up and stares directly at the camera with a blank expression. I guess he could still be half asleep, but many believe that he is under the control of a spirit. And that's when some presence apparently made him speak in tongues. Watch this part and tell me if it sounds like something paranormal or someone having a bad dream. The comment section of this video seems to be evenly split between fake and real. So let me know what you think based on what I was able to show. It's almost midnight when this YouTuber makes the mistake of going for a late night motorcycle ride. Completely unaware of the paranormal activity about to be caught on camera, he sees a figure in white and slows down, suddenly feeling unsafe and vulnerable with a ghost in his sights. As he speeds away, he says the mysterious figure appears and disappears in the side view mirror. I kind of see what he's saying but the mirror is so dirty that I'm not sure if this proves much of anything. Still, what this person is doing by themselves at midnight is anyone's guess. They seem to be slowly looking for something, which is beyond creepy when you think about it. Captured at nearly 2 a.m., the security footage left behind a phantom trace. Published by Highlight Seed in March of 2022, the mysterious video shows a couple of figures crossing along the dirt road outside of a compound. The first figure is solid. You can tell it's a human person making their way in the night. The second figure, however, Although this one too is carrying a flashlight, the figure never appears solid in form, and halfway down the path, he seems to evaporate upward into the air. Both he and his flashlight beam disappear. Does the contrast between the two figures prove that one is not what it seems, or are our eyes deceiving us? Based out of the southern city of D'Armonville, Exploring Alabama is a YouTube channel that takes on the creepiest abandoned places in the entire state. One such video is an abandoned church that's in the early stages of decay. Inside is a mess but still structurally sound. Some rooms are too dark and creepy for him to willingly go into, so he mostly stays in the more well-lit areas and continues to explore until he gets his share of footage. As he's leaving, something compels him to take one last look in the main room, and that's when he records it. Some are calling this a mysterious creature, while others say this is only a stray cat and nothing more. It's too far away to tell for certain, but I think it's interesting and worth talking about. So what do you think? While out on his porch, this young man spots two green eyes peering back at him from the darkness. Published in June of 2020, Jimmy Reynolds lives near the edge of the woods, so it would be safe to assume that any number of woodland creatures are nearby. But what kind of creature is this? He approaches the eyes in the darkness, speaking out to it. See, there it is. Hey! Oh, what the f***? You'll see that. But as he gets closer, it apparently runs off. Jimmy thinks it could be a cat or a dog, but people in the comments are of the opinion that it's something much larger. Some say it's a skinwalker or a crawler. Others say it could be a forest ghoul. Cat Anonymous writes, It's probably stalking your house for food. Not sure if it eats humans. In any case, this dude better lock his doors. A YouTuber named Ghost Robo is taking some questions from fans. They talk about everything from going back to school to Transformers, and then they take a quick break to make some minor adjustments. Um. The room cools off and the conversation picks up until a real life jump scare leaves them wide mouthed and pale. The 
The lightning sounds so close that I seriously wonder if it struck the side of their house. Either way, it takes the three of them over 30 seconds to compose themselves and carry on. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarge claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the Crybaby Bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Yeah, that's the same truck. He's getting stop. Need to stop. Oh, he's coming back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Whoa. Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is that? Grab my neck. <coughs> Grab your neck? <laughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness, and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. These ghost hunters in Texas capture a rare paranormal sighting on their night vision camera. I'm willing to bet you didn't see this on the first try, so I'll tell you where to look. Check out the grassy section and you'll see a small black ball cross the road. They don't see anything else for a while, and then the strange black dot comes back only to disappear again. I was thinking it could be some kind of wildlife, until it literally vanishes from sight, which obviously no living creature should be able to do. Are you having down that way? Mm hmm Something went across the room. You see that little light thing with the reflector on the left? After experiencing a slew of paranormal activity at the Randolph County Asylum in Winchester, Indiana, Billy Gerber, a custodian, began recording every shift. One day he is sweeping the basement when this noise fills the room. Do you believe him after watching this? Also, check out how a shadow passes directly over him as soon as the voice says, Help me. It's there for a split second, then gone. Heads up, it's watching. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Nimrose. Something demonic is peeking out from behind this tree. A woman is walking down a forest path at night in Sweden, but she doesn't notice that she's not alone. Look to the right of the tree. A creepy, long-haired, demon-like figure peeks out for a split second before hiding itself again. I'm surprised it didn't snatch her when she walked past. Some in the comments are saying it was Krampus, the terrifying horned Christmas demon from European folklore. Others think it's a person in a mask. Still, others are more distracted by the eyes that pop out at the base of the tree at nearly the same time as the demon. Well, that can be explained away as a raccoon or other animal. What about the demon person? Any theories? A singing bowl is an instrument of meditation that comes from Tibet. You strike it like you would a gong, and the vibrations are meant to induce a different state of consciousness. Here, a rather serious and displeased looking face appears in the singing bowl after it's filled with water and struck. It can't be a reflection of the person filming because there's no body underneath and obviously no camera. I think this is probably edited because of the low resolution, but then again, this video could be taken from a remote monastery that has little use for modern technology. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. 
The shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lawrence struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video and you will see it now has a very deep ceased brow, a sharp angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. A boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt that's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over this second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. A mysterious and creepy video of a seemingly haunted stuffed toy moving on its own has this woman so freaked out that she's probably going to cry. The woman is busy looking at her phone when the object moves towards her multiple times, stopping every time she glances up. Each time, its movements are so slight that she's not even sure if the object is really moving or not. At 3 minutes and 19 seconds, she grabs the stuffed toy and brings it near, but less than a minute later, the possessed toy flings itself across the bench and she runs away screaming. I want to say that this video is fake, but you can see the entire room. So if it was someone holding a string, I'm not sure where they would be standing. When you can command a door to open and close, you may just have The Gift, published by the Scottish Ghost Company. In February of 2022, this investigation of an industrial complex turned super creepy. When the investigator's commands were granted, the pair is alone in the warehouse aside from the ghosts. You can hear them communicating via the spirit box in the adjacent hangar throughout the video. The pair approaches a door and asks the spirit to open it if he or she is still with them. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? In answer, the door slowly swings open. A moment later, when asked to close the door, the spirit acquiesces, slamming the door shut. Really impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many in the comments call this activity mind-blowing and wonder if it's real. Is this a portal to another world? Step on through if you dare. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. A beautiful home built in 1934 turned ugly when in 2009, the real estate mogul who bought the home took his wife's life. Claiming the woman went missing on a hike, a search began for his wife but turned up nothing. A year later, the man put a new addition on his home that raised enough suspicion for police to request a search warrant. They found the wife buried beneath the home. The man was given more than 20 years behind bars, and the house remains abandoned. Published by Dark Exploration Films, this walkthrough of the home is incredibly disturbing. Taking viewers through the grounds and inside the home, the explorer comes upon the hole in which the woman was buried. Let's go into the room that everybody wants to see. So this room was added in 2009. Once the police found out about this construction, they were a little skeptical. 
Many in the comments are bewildered that anyone could live in the home they buried their wife in without getting telltale hearted to the point of insanity. Others feel a sense of darkness and foreboding and even a feeling of sadness there. Surely the woman's spirit remains. YouTuber D Dog Michael is back at it again, exploring this abandoned place, and he is not alone. After being scared to his wits' end, Michael enters another dark room and sees this. Did that hand just confront him? The mystery continues as he enters a room of mirrors. After this terrifying encounter, he keeps on going. Someone is there for sure. And that someone is stalking him. Come on, you. Michael hears both a girl and a man in this haunted place, but are they good or evil? I think that he'd better hedge his bets because he can't be sure. This recent video of an unidentified flying device was sighted in New Mexico. It looks like a disc-shaped object until one of the lights breaks away. What the what? Then they all briefly flicker out before lighting back up in a new formation. Is this some kind of special military flare exercise or what? I think I'm gonna go with what, and by what, I mean extraterrestrial life. This one is a head scratcher. Redditor Nikki Nabs explains that her dad was in a local pub when something unusual happened. Watch the guy's shoelace. Did you see that? It looks like something undid his shoelace. Some in the comments say the lace was stuck under his left foot and the shoe untied when he moved his right foot. Is that what you're seeing here? I think they might be right. Then again, a mischievous specter would be more fun. A ghost was in our courtroom, writes a government employee in the description of this video. She is investigating a ghost sighting caught on CCTV video and comes to this paranormal conclusion. We have a ghost in jail. I love to call ghost orbs. They disappear and reappear. She noticed some time ago that ghost orbs seem to always gather in this spot at around 5 or 6 in the morning. I was ready to dismiss this alleged ghost sighting as particles of dust, but then at one minute of the video this large white object is caught moving on camera and it looks roughly the size of someone's head. So maybe this is an apparition after all, although I think it might simply be dust from an AC vent that turns on at the same time every morning. Anyway, if they ever post any more CCTV video of the ghosts in the courtroom, I'll be sure to give a further analysis because this is pretty creepy. There's an old abandoned bus in the woods that's supposed to be haunted. According to legend, the school wanted to get rid of the bus after someone lost their life on the way home. 
It switched ownership a few more times before a ghost hunter purchased it for a low price. He's out randomly recording it one day when all of a sudden he hears this. The man recording says that he does not have any children and that he is on his large wooded property all by himself. I will say that the voice does sound like it's coming from inside of the bus or at least someplace close. I guess he could have a daughter or something who is hiding inside, but probably not. Then, as he is walking closer to the bus, he suddenly hears this very clearly. This could be a prank, but it could also be the ghost of a girl who does not know that she has passed on. She apparently tries to get his attention by cheerfully saying hello, but he runs away leaving her behind in her rotting bus. Isn't nature beautiful? This video shows us it's actually terrifying. Redditor Sarah in Alaska shared this clip of the stunning Alaskan wilderness, but listen closely to the audio. She's wondering if viewers hear a voice, and if so, if you can tell what it's saying. Redditor Endangered Mind 2 suggests that the voice says, race back down and Sarah agrees. As they just reach the summit, after listening repeatedly, I agree that this is what it sounds like, but the voice is not theirs. So whose is it? I don't have any answers, but I think I'd keep off this trail for a while, or never hike it again. Rankin Fishing is at it again at the Indian River Inlet in North Beach, this time hoping to hook himself some blue fish. Never was he expecting this. He gets a hit on the line and is a little nervous to find. In his words, The freaking worst thing to catch. The arrangement of dark brown and black spots on its back immediately tells him this is a clear nose skate. Skates are similar to stingrays, except for a few differences I won't get too deep into. All that matters is they will defend themselves. However, they can live another day. This one looks to be full grown, so he has to be extra careful. It's not the tail he needs to watch out for, but rather the mouth. The clear nose skate has between 46 and 54 teeth on the top row, and around the same number on the bottom. 108 teeth total, small and blunt, packed closely together for dense crushing power like a vice. Its jaws can crack open, hard-shelled prey like clams and crabs with no problem. Your hand is no match. At 2 minutes and 56 seconds, the skate's bottom lip becomes lurched out and is perfectly aligned with the soft webbing between his index and thumb. The end result is something terrifying. There's a lot of red and yelling afterwards, and the only thing left to do after unhooking the creature is dip his hand into the salt water. Let's just say he's lucky the skate got this part of his hand, as opposed to a finger, which would have come right off. He wonders out loud if something's going to happen to him later. I'm sorry, that hurts so much. I hope they don't have any like, toxins. I did some research and found that skates, unlike stingrays, do not have any toxins, so he doesn't have that to worry about. But he should still probably go to the hospital, because it might have some nasty bacteria around its mouth that he wants nothing to do with. He later describes this encounter as the worst physical sensation any deep sea creature has ever inflicted on him in all his years. He has my sympathies, and I hope, for the sake of his hand, that nothing else from the ocean is ever able to do worse. This little two and a half foot tall fuzzy robot is called Leonardo, or Leo for short, and in 2002 when everyone was playing PlayStation 2 and watching DVDs, this robot was already learning how to think, feel, and respond. Thank you.
He's alive! He's alive! <laughs> Leo was created at the MIT Media Lab in Massachusetts. I know that doesn't look scary at all, but that's the whole point. It's designed so you won't want to be afraid of it. They want you to come closer so that it can learn from you. There's something disturbing about a fuzzy robot exploiting our natural trust for cute animals as a way to help it learn more about interacting with people. I doubt that they would need to downplay its appearance so greatly if the concept of AI wasn't so dangerous and scary to begin with. Anyway, Leo quickly learned how to do stuff after being shown only one time. Press the red button. Note how in this next part, Leo is not asked to press the buttons at all, but does so anyway. Have you learned to turn all the buttons on? Very good. Again, Leo is not asked to press them. It was asked if it knew how to press them. It correctly assumed that was what she was going to ask of it next. Even today's robots can barely predict what humans want, but this robot, who is two decades old, is able to make its own decisions. Next, a scientist flies an object around so that Leo can learn how to track things with its mounted camera eyes. Much like Leo's harmless appearance, they use an Elmo doll to disarm our senses it's able to track this Elmo doll without problem and learns how to identify and track red things if asked. Here, it remembers Big Bird's face and is able to find Big Bird when asked. Can you find Big Bird? Leo has a neutral expression at first. When the scientist says that Big Bird is a friend, Leo likes him. Hey, Leo, look at Big Bird. Don't you think he's great? It can also be trained to not like something. Leo, Cookie Monster is very bad. He's very bad, Leo. He's a scary monster who wants to get your cookies. If Leo can be taught how to fear or love, then he could also be taught how to hate and destroy. Think about what a bigger robot could do with these abilities. It could be trained to be a police robot, a self-learning face-scanning cyborg that can be taught to do great good or great evil. Or even more terrifying, maybe it could come to the conclusion of what's good and what's evil on its own. Leo could be an early prototype for all that and more. Again, this is just an opinion, but it creeps me out to keep robotic AI looking as soft, cuddly, and unassuming as possible. Redditor Pitboy1050 captured this on his security camera at work, and it may make you want to call in sick. Well, some think it's a ghost. The way it hovers looks almost mechanical to me. The Redditor writes that it went on for longer, and he could see the entire figure from top to bottom, and then saw it leave. In some traditions, souls are said to stay on Earth for 40 days after their passing. It definitely looks like a Pokong to me, but it could also just be a bug on the lens. Which side are you on? Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. The clip begins with a doll just staring into the living room. Then, all of a sudden, she starts barking. 
She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table, and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor, and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it, as the author claims. But if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. This isn't something you see every day. Posted to TikTok by Canada Wildlife, this trail cam captured a bear sighting in the wild. It shows one large black bear chasing another. They both shimmy their way up a tree with ease until the one being chased switches around to defend himself. All he needed to do was have the higher ground for the other to back down. Aside from the incredible speed of these two bears, their chatter with each other is surprising to most. While many in the comments are saying they guess they won't climb a tree to escape a bear, TikToker Patricia McWeeny writes, I would have expected some growling. Not whatever that was. Fair enough, I don't think any of us expected this. <laughs> An encounter with a mysterious pale figure in the forest. What could go wrong? Published by F2 Fun Facts YT, this cameraman arrives at a cement well that may be home to a madman. Peering down into it, he only sees darkness, but then he pulls back and casts the camera over his surroundings. In a corner near another cement structure, a pale figure is crouched. The figure looks human but keeps very still, that is, until it suddenly springs up, turns around and launches at the cameraman. Its movements are incredibly agile, almost superhuman, and its skin is inhumanely pale. Does it live in the well? Needless to say, the cameraman flees, leaving us to wonder if the creature was human or something else. It turns out public buses are rife with incidents of alleged possessed people. This one turned up in San Luis, Argentina on June 7th, 2016. A woman sits with her eyes closed, her head rolling around at random, and her mouth opening and closing. She is jerking all over, not once opening her eyes, and a terrible sound is heard at times coming from her mouth. What she is saying, if anything, is indiscernible. She continues jerking around, looking quite possessed, until a man walks forward and shakes her shoulder, attempting to bring her back around. The man says something to her, and she shouts back in her scratchy, possessed voice. He places his hand on her forehead, and that's where the footage ends. Was he attempting an exorcism? Was he doing something more sinister? It seems we'll never know. A YouTuber named Darren's Northern Life is doing some last minute hunting at the end of the season. He sees a parked truck early on and knows that other hunters must be around, which means everybody should be extra careful. A short while later, he finds himself in one of the worst situations a hunter could ever possibly imagine. Oh my goodness, that bullet just came over my head. Darren hears the shot whiz by his head and scrambles for cover behind some trees. The other hunters still haven't noticed they are firing on another person and seem to be out of shouting range. This, this guy's gonna f***ing kill me. Darren scrambles to safety and can't even believe what just happened. Later, he goes back to the truck and records their license plate. They just so happen to be coming back as well. 
pictures of the license plate. Is something wrong? Everything all right? Uh, somebody shot at me. They claim it was a different person and not anyone in their party. Without any concrete evidence, I don't think there is much Darren can legally do besides upload the video and make the event public. Let me know if you think he has enough evidence to press charges based on what you've seen. Have you ever met an angry shadow? You're about to. Posted to the ghost subreddit by sensitive chart 6221 This scary video was captured in Amarillo, Texas as the Redditor and his friends were exploring. The footage shows the group walking down the hallway of an abandoned hospital. Watch the doorway at the end of the hall. You can see a dark figure around the corner. It moves out of view as they pass, but it's not clear if that's because the cameraman is veering left or the figure physically hides itself. The right side door also seems to fall closed. A moment later, you hear a strange groan or growl. Some in the comments think it sounds like an animal. Others think that the dark figure is just the shadow of the dude in the white shirt. Or could the shadow figure be growling at these intruders? I'm gonna go with that as my guess. It's 3 a.m. and something is terrifying YouTuber Mo Sarji at this haunted cabin in the woods. Let's see what it is. Mo seems to be sensing a spirit around them. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of spirit around you. Then they see a light in a nearby building. It shouldn't be on. There you go, you can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off. Holy sh there's something causing it to stay on. A moment later, this happens. Oh, oh, oh! I just seen it! Dude! Dude! I got it on camera, did you? It's motion activated, so something must be inside. They arrive at this creepy haunted cabin, isolated in the middle of the woods. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, nice. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. As soon as they're near it, they get a reading on their K2. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. Once inside, they discover something horrifying. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here, or the wood, did some type of black magic. Like put a type of nail in here. Is Mo's theory correct? Is this a dark magic shack? From the outside looking in, it appears so. It's not here now. Oh wait, right, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out here. <laughs> there's so it's, many. It's gone now. Now it's mapping out Angelo. When the team asks the spirit if it's there, it responds via REM pod. John, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Mm. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. Sean is here. I do believe the team is being followed by something, but is it Sean? It could be anyone. A ghost sighting in Jacksonville, Florida leaves one man certain he has evidence of the paranormal. There's not a f tree. A strangely human-shaped figure emits a strange glow. It could be pretty much anything from this far away. Approaching headlights against a tree comes to mind, but he's adamant that it's not a tree. He's too scared to drive any closer, so the video ends. I can't be the only one who wishes he would have gotten closer, but I understand why he wanted to get the heck out of there.
99% of us would have done the same, and if not, then I guess you're braver than most. The roads in Guwahati, India are apparently haunted. Just ask Abinash Kishore, aka the Mind Hunter. He pulls up behind a vehicle with an extreme background story that I'll get into in just a second. First, try to translate what he says about this truck, and then I'll tell you what I was able to research. Guys, Huri Thakute Thakute, Bhud Bisari Thakute Thakute. Hey, Khan Khan Mukhat ki gayi dekha paise na? Raba bhal ke dekhai diya sir. Gayi Khan Allah bagwai diya. Okay, so get this. I did some deep digging and found out that this truck is actually the only hearse service offered in the area. Before this company came to be, people used to carry the departed to the nearest graveyard. As an extra bonus, on this blog post, I found information on three extremely creepy but also saddening comments requesting the service as soon as possible. That means within this metal container could be someone passed away. So when he finds not one, but two of these vehicles lined up in the middle of nowhere, he knows that something really bad must have happened, and he better not stick around for long. Long. Unfortunately for him, the time to leave safely has already passed. <laughs> The mind hunter's assistant gets scared and drives off, but the mind hunter will have none of it and makes him return. There is another brief sighting until the figure fades away into darkness. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video could simply be a third member of the group, but since it happens not far from where they found the abandoned vehicles that could have had passed away people inside, it could be real. This YouTube clip serves as video evidence of just how daring some people can be, or brave, if you look at it the other way. The footage is likely recorded in Russia's Far East, where a large population of bears roam free. Bears that have been known to wander into residential areas. In the video, one of these bears has done just that. A big brown bear is seen pacing around an empty lot, while a Russian man just sits calmly on a bench, not making the faintest effort to move or protect himself. In fact, he seems completely unfazed by the wild animal just feet from him. Surprisingly, the wild bear seems more scared of the Russian than this man is of the bear. As the bear roams closer toward him, he suddenly darts away. Though the man never moves an inch, while most people would be shaking in their britches, in an all-out panic when within sight of a bear, this Russian man doesn't flinch, maybe we can learn something from him. If you should ever be unfortunate enough to encounter this wild animal, it's best not to panic. Just don't be as nonchalant as this guy. This neighborhood in Lando Lakes, Florida was built on shaky ground and now the earth is reclaiming the houses as its own. Within the course of nine hours, this house is completely snapped in half and sinking into a swell of groundwater so deep that it engulfs a palm tree with ease. Through the water, see how much water? <laughs> Hours later, the sinkhole has easily quadrupled in size and is busy dismantling a second house. There is nothing that can be done as the foundation is ripped away. Here you can see how close this third pink house comes to being lost in the abyss. Only a small strip of land protects its corner from going under, but somehow it holds firm and the family is able to recover their belongings. Sadly, all of the remaining houses had to be condemned because even though they were spared this time, the sinkhole could randomly widen at any minute. It's a terrible situation, but perhaps most terrifying is that moments before their eventual collapse, you would never suspect that anything was wrong. All of the houses look structurally sound in these photos taken months prior. 
the yards and driveways look level, the telephone poles stand straight up without leaning, and the roads likewise look smooth and have little cracks. In other words, exactly like your neighborhood probably looks right now. In this video by Nathan Hughes, published this year, the YouTuber's dog Molly is visibly trembling as it stares off into space, huddled in fear on the sofa. What are you looking at? What is it? Molly? What is it? Are you okay? When asked if she wants a biscuit, Molly just looks over and goes back to staring and trembling at whatever she's seeing, completely ignoring the biscuit that her owner set on the pillow beside her. She is staring towards the door near the kitchen, shaking nervously when the owner tells her to eat her treat, nudging it closer to her mouth. She just continues staring in frozen fear. Then the owner walks around the front, facing the dog, asking what she's looking at but she doesn't move a muscle. He closes the door to see if anyone is standing behind it. No one, nothing is there. Throughout the entire video, Molly refuses to listen to her owner. Maybe the paranormal vision she saw made her lose her appetite or left her in so much fear that she is unable to move. Afraid of heights? Look away or this one might get you. The video illustrates the day-to-day -day of those who climb tall towers to work on the antennas and transmission lines of the world's tallest skyscrapers. Imagine starting out your workday with a fierce climb. The clip from the tower climber's point of view shows the climb up a 1,768-foot tower, and it's a rough one. Don't worry, there's an elevator up to the 1,600-foot point. Still, the rest of the upward ascent is nothing short of daunting. 168 feet of climbing up a ladder, carrying a 30-pound tool bag, which hangs via a rope below you. With this frightening view all around, no thanks. At the top of the tower, the climber is no longer surrounded by the metal structure. Now he's free climbing up small rungs with nothing surrounding him, should he lose his footing. I suppose this is what gives us goosebumps with these types of clips. With one wrong step, one wrong move, a stroke of bad luck, or the wrath of nature, the climber is moments away from a long fall. When you experience regular poltergeist activity in your home, monitoring it becomes top priority. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard shares this VR360 video from a GoPro Max of his home's demonic activity. You can hear faint knocks or footsteps repeatedly. More unexplained sounds unfold. Not long after, there's a major smashing noise, followed by REM pod activity. You can also hear faint voices at this point, maybe from a TV turning on. Not long after, this happens. And again, it sounds like the TV has been turned on or someone is speaking. The voice comes and goes throughout the remainder of the clip, but turning 360, you can't see anything on. And lastly, the spirits play a short tune. This video is particularly unsettling to me because you can see all four corners of the room at any time, so you know nobody is pulling the strings. I'm convinced that Donnie's house is haunted, and considering the noises, the demon doesn't sound friendly. Do you have the common care to tame a snake? This shocking footage will make you question your own bravery. The video shows a man grabbing a thick snake with his bare hands. Oh. 
The snake looks around 10 feet long and arches toward the man when he pulls back. As the snake appears to be aggressive, the man holds up one arm. He is apparently trying to grab a hold of the snake close to its head, which he manages to do upon his second attempt. He takes the snake with both hands in a tight grip as it opens its mouth wide, baring its fangs. Then, as if with no care in the world, the man walks the snake over to some other workers who pick up its tail and are taking photos with the beast. The footage ends there, but judging by this man's professionalism, I think we can safely guess the snake was properly removed to a more secure location. According to YouTuber 01 Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place, he lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues to search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.